Upon Titi News' arrival at the Adabraka Polyclinic, out of a staff strength of 13, only four were seen at post at both laboratory facilities situated in the polyclinic. Head of the facility, Abdul Razak Kwao, explains why the situation is so. In this place, we have two labs, the main lab and then some, something like an annex. So today looks like most of the patients do not have, have not really heard the news that they are back. So the number of patients that we are having today are not that much. So we just opened the smaller lab for them to work in. I'm sure by tomorrow when a lot more of the patients hear that they are back, then we would open both, both labs. At the Greater Accra Regional Hospital, the laboratory was fully operational. The deputy head of the laboratory, Asante Yabwa, told Titi News he was hopeful that the demands of their colleagues at Konfanochi Teaching Hospital would be met in due course so as to prevent a recurrence of the industrial action just witnessed. The issue will be resolved. Bear in mind, this issue is not between uh, medical laboratory scientists and that of government is between medical laboratory scientists and lab physicians. So at the end of the day, we have a clear cut policy in terms of airline that we were actually seeking parliament to approve this. So we know and we post confidence in parliamentary select committee. Situation at the Kolebu Teaching Hospital and Polyclinic were no different. I think it's good that they've come back because really there are people who really need to be scanned and to be like, as I was saying, my sister need a, a blood for me. So if they're not working, I don't think I can able to donate the blood for them. I've been here twice. I was here the Wednesday and I called the Saturday to find out if they are back. Even yesterday. I called to find out if they are back, but they said they are not working. But I went to test seven, but they said they are not working. And uh, I didn't tell the hospital too, they are not working. I was given the lab since last month. So since they didn't come, I'm not able to do them. Uh -huh. But today when I came, there are lots of people here. The queue is not easy. Uh -huh. So as I'm speaking to you, I came here in the morning. And still, I've not been admitted or I've not been check yet. If something is like that is going to happen, they have to form the public to be aware because not all of us are in, excuse me to say, not doing anything. Maybe you are going to work and you bring your kid to the hospital and you come and meet this trap, uh, something like you come and meet that they are on strike. It's very hectic. However, a visit to a few private laboratories littered around the hospital who had been beneficiaries of the strike saw a rather quiet environment. It seemed most patients had reverted to the public laboratories upon hearing the good news of their resumption. Laboratory technician at Acumed Specialist Clinic, Nin Wete Norte, confirmed this low patronage. Okay, today hasn't been that much busy. It's been quite like you can see for yourself. I'm supposed to be living here by 4.30. But the place is so quiet today. So you can say it's, oh, it's not even 4, but then I'm trying to run away because the, the day has been very quiet today.